got some alien isolation to be playing. Which... Put that up, put this up. Okay. Hello to whoever may be watching this in post, and welcome to the third stream of Alien Isolation. Um. Wow, my brain died. Uh, I need to, not really need to do anything. I'm going to say it flat out. I'm not necessarily looking forward to this. I said that I wanted to, and I said that I was going to, but the alien isolation hasn't been very scary for me uh, since beginning which I'm, I'm sure is a factor of my own rather than the game's fault and without having seen pretty much any of the movies or been invested in like anything that's been going on um, I don't know uh, so I'll say it like this, I'm going to do this stream and if it doesn't go well, I'm going to switch off and try and find something else. So I, I'll leave it at that. Because at first I enjoyed it, but it's mostly been just frustrating. There hasn't been very many things that have been that I that have actually like scared me. So well. Stream died. There's only a one minute video on your Twitch that cuts off. Really? That's interesting. Either way, I'm sure that by the end of the stream, I'll just recap what I've said and uh, we'll move on from there. One difference, however, is that I've switched out my exercise ball with a uh, one of my wooden kitchen chairs. So hopefully I won't have any of the, uh, arg I hurt, uh, after this to do the stream, so. My friend's messaging me through Steam, telling me that the stream doesn't work. All right. We're gonna continue right where we left off, and if I remember correctly, we just got out of the med bay, uh, which was our first alien encounter. So, let's uh, have our way through, eh? I gotta do a little bit of remembering the controls, but other than that, I should be fine. Still crouched, right? Yeah. So I need to find a trauma kit because I am in the med bay part dose. I don't think I need to be crouched right now. Because I doubt there's an alien nearby. Unless there is, which uh, I guess I'll find out soon enough. Does it look like much any of the doors through here should be hello well isn't that handy Woo! 
I don't like that sound. I don't see it's around here though. Nothing in there. It's a hiding spot. Door shut behind me. These are the like cryo chamber rooms, aren't they? Well, if it wasn't here before, it definitely is now. Did I really never follow you? Did you? I want to know. Frank, need to talk to you. Got a body up here. It's part of the investigation. Well, I suppose not. Thank you for the follow words. <laughs> no idea how long waits. We'll want to keep her up here. Highly sensitive situation. Gonna need your discretion. Concern about the lockdown has been noted. Evacuation is 100% necessary and only a temporary measure. Priority is the welfare of the living. Seem to be more preoccupied with the dead. If you're worried about power, work temperature and conditions, just adjust the coolant delivery. Get out of there ASAP. And then I have the ability from within here to activate the cooling systems. Which I think are all ready active. This is a very small corridor. Uh, what is it? Oh no, it's... Ooh, I need to restore the power. What do you mean? I guess I don't really have anything else to do but to press the coolant. Which I'd have to guess would be like, ah, I can't do that because here it is. Okay. coolant in that so I can't actually have that go off so what's the coolant supposed to do it unlocks the door got it okay so within that room I'm probably gonna find something to open up the other room and that other room likely has something that I need any word in this game being alien cannon I think there was but I want to be the guy to tell you I'm unfamiliar with myself you look oddly familiar oh that's why you were the guy who was shot in the face earlier in the game there's the cooling canister that guy's dead. Well, so is that one. A lot of fresh bodies in here, gonna be honest. People looking mighty sus. Might be an alien on here, but I think we got an imposter too. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Among Us. It's officially considered canon. Alright. It's not here yet. The aliens just kind of fecking around in the vents for some reason. Full on bonding agents. Okay. Uh, let's see. There's gotta be a reason to have come into this room, right? 
Ah, rewire. So. Samuels, there's a Dr. Lingard, senior medical officer. Should be able to find out where they're keeping everything in her office. Good luck, Ripley. Hurry if you can. Will do. I am going to save real fast. Yes, please. And then before I move out, uh, six flares, that's maxed, got it. Charge pack sensor injector. I can stick an injector into this. Whoops. Smoke bomb also needs a sensor. Sensor, sensors. I suppose I can craft another med kit so that way I can plug stuff into here. There we go. Alright, well, the alien is alive now, that's for sure. You open that vent, doesn't mean the alien will likely pop out. Well, he did, so. Uh, yeah, we answered that question. Hmm. Get in! Oh fuck! I did not make that. Try to avoid conflict, or at least make sure you have enough ammo for a fight. Uh, gee, you don't say. I love how these tooltips are completely useless. <laughs> Just remember, if you see the alien, your <laughs> your gun bullets will surely work. All right. I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. I'm just gonna head into the vent. There we go. And now that I'm in here, make a med kit. Put the things in to make another. Uh, the noisemaker. I don't really have anything that really takes uh, bonding agents. That seems to be the only real thing that I'm missing. All right, so let's see. Revolver fire do jack against the alien. Oh, I absolutely know it does. And <laughs> all right, investigate Leningard's office. is on this floor. Good to know. Sounds like he's in the vents. Which theoretically means that I can get out without too much bodily harm. Is what I would say. I didn't just get a little, a little worried. Okay. Uh, that dude's got flare on him. We have a room with a fan. 
a Dr. Sammy poster, an alien still in the vents. Is it there a few scripted jump scare esque events? Oh, absolutely. Every horror game has them. Would I know where they are? Not necessarily. I know they exist. There was the one with the uh, working Joe not too long ago. Or, well, it would be a long ago, actually, but. Can we, like, stop with the spooky fucking sounds? That would be awesome. Maybe, maybe not the spooky sounds, but, like, the ones that very distinctly sound like the alien. Could we stop with those? I would greatly appreciate that. Sensor here. I need to know where I'm going. Oh, I just took a giant ass loop all the way around. Good Christ. <laughs> oh, that actually got me. Why are all the lights turning on? Why can't I just have them off? What are my thoughts? Well, this is a bit awkward. Um, but other than that, so far, I mean, it's a well-made game. I just haven't been able to find it very scary myself. That requires a key card. Okay. I suppose there's a possibility where if you don't give the alien a reason to come out, it might not come out, which would be nice. For the floating eyes happen again. Don't care what you think you need to do. I want you out of... You know we've set up in there. Truly sorry for what it means for the patients who can't be moved. This is the only way. There will be no further waiting. Warnings. Orly, need you out of medical. Set up shop in the habitation. People are fighting over supplies. We've got more injuries coming in than we have the meds to deal with. My team is depleted to say the least. Need access to the central wards. It's 2505. San Cristobal Center Wards. 2505. I don't know if there's going to be the need for a code anywhere in here. That might be a code for something to go back and uh, go do. Been locked down by the marshals until further notice. Locations to follow. Dr. Lingard, this is Ransom. Remember me? Your friendly Sikhs and chief executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh, well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshal Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your friends do. And I bet he wouldn't be as understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. Jesus, don't take us. Don't, 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 no, don't, don't. Oh, fuck me. I. Sitting here doing a little dance. I'm still alive. Just gonna get in a locker before it comes back. Alright. 
hide under the table. That's the thing, there's no room under those tables. Because they both have the, like, safes underneath them. I wanted to make some shit, but I, I can't. Keycard. Save. I'm on my way. Hostels are nearby. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. This is a dead end. Fuck. Fuck me. All right. Well, how do I make it over there now? I have to walk all the way around? Of course I need to walk all the way around. Why wouldn't I need to walk all the way around? In the hallway with no bloody hiding spots anywhere. Scripted jump scare would happen. Well, it did. That's what that fire was. La da dee, la da do, la da dum. Just don't come rip roaring this way, baby. That's all I need you to do. I can't take anything from there. <laughs> wow. Alright, so hold on a second. I actually do need to craft some stuff. Uh, med kit? No. Flashbang. Blasting cap and a sensor. A noisemaker. I definitely need more noisemakers. Don't look under this table. Please, heavenly bother. Okay, thank you. Damn you, door! Okay. We're good, we're safe, we're chill. Access terminal. Do flashbangs only work on small bad? I, I, I'm very confident it only works on, like, may it only works on humans, and maybe the working Joes. Death certificate, oh, that's nice. Report. Lingard. Mrs. Lingard, senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. I want to stay. I have been. I have been placed under duress with regards to my patient zero. And ransom, season's head of operations. He. He made certain threats for my career and my certification. I want that on record. God. That woman needed help. I didn't know what type of parasite she had encountered, but it had planted something inside her. Ooh. I am so sorry. I had no way of knowing what would happen. Aren't I supposed to be finding a trauma kit? Yeah, see? Why did I have to come in here? She didn't tell me where the bloody hell a trauma kit was. She told me how the alien got on board, but not where a trauma kit was. Man. Yeah. 
Alright, so how do I make it out of this sticky situation? Oh, well, hey man. I mean... Devices to safely dispatch a working Joe. Man, that is so helpful to know. Can you tell me how to get rid of an alien next time? That would be great. How the fuck am I supposed to get around the, the goddamn alien when it's constantly puppy guarding the one fucking corner that it, that it has to to prevent my progress? Well, that would be helpful. Why does it need... Why does it need two sensors? I didn't realize there was a Molotov sitting right here. That's uh, helpful to know. Hamburger rolls. You like a taco? <laughs> Huh, all right. That explains why there was so much ethanol in that one room. Oh. All right, blow up, baby. It's R, it's right. Shoo. Just don't circle back on yourself, man. I know that you really like doing that. So I'm gonna have to ask you to like stop for the minute. Thank you. All right. Opening that guy up should have gave me another flare, which it did, because he had one on him. Access the terminal. Ham sandwich. Right. This is Lingard. Senior medical officer at Sevastopol Station. I want to. Yeah. I want to make sure some stuff gets onto the record. That's fair. So, we're back to where we left off. I need to make it to where the save point is, again, but the fire is there, which is a problem. Another problem would be the fact that it has the ability to just 
do whatever the hell it wants, essentially, and not even worry about uh, being <laughs> incredibly unfair. Right there in front of the door. Yep. Okay. I know it's gonna do it again, so I need to have something that I can uh, work towards. Let me see about the Molotov. I'm full on sensors. And I can put the ethanol in here because stuff. It's currently on the other side right now, which is good for me. Seems to like watching the center hallway. So assuming everything goes to plan, I can walk all the way. Oh no. Nope, 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 no, no. Hold on. I. I need to do something to divert its attention. Otherwise, I'm not getting out of here alive. Okay. I have the key card for that door, I'm confident. But I don't... want to use it yet. I don't want to use it yet until uh, I save. Muscles may be nearby, but they are in the vents, so doesn't matter to me. I need to make it over to where the alien is right now. Seems the flare that I placed or that I threw out wasn't necessary. So I can only hope that when it comes out another time, it'll go over there. It's got hell in here, Sam. That's a guy. There's people in here? Hmm. Well, I don't know how or why he's in here. All I need to know is that it's likely hostile. Because Lord knows that if the alien and a human are in the same room, they're probably on a team. That's just fact. There's two spots. Seems this area has humans in it. Having a bad day. Borderlands 2, fight enemies. Bunch of levels ahead of me. That yeah, sounds about right for Borderlands.
Oh, that's floating. <laughs> and floating at eye level, no less. Doesn't seem there was much of a reason to actually walk in here, though. There's no items. <laughs> that was such a waste of the stud baton book. God, that was funny. Oh, it was so worth it. Is it just me, or did that crate not look like a spot that I could sit in and hide? Was it just me that that had that thought of, oh, I can stand in this? Was that me? Was that just was that just a me thing? Because the game certainly told me that I couldn't. This is why we save frequently. Oh, good Christ. Now I gotta go through all of that over again. A human size to... Right? Even if it's exposed from one side. It, it, it wasn't exposed on the side that I, I didn't need it to be exposed. It's got hell in here, Samuels. Let me pull out the stun baton. Flashlight batteries? <laughs> Who uses their flashlight, am I right? So it's just the one guy. That's interesting. I'm gonna see if I can't stun his ass in here instead. I think he's leaving him alone because he has a chest burster in him. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know enough about Alien to know the validity of that, but it's very possible. Yeah, no, I, that's that's not a hiding spot. That's not a legal hiding spot for some reason. Why? 
I wouldn't be able to tell you. I just know that it do be what it do. I want to zap this guy so that way I only have to worry about the one. Uh, the alien instead of having both of them around at once. thing is, is that that guy must have been made really aware of what I was doing. Actually, maybe I don't. That guy walking around might be keeping the alien at bay. Emphasis on might, but that is a theory. And a more or less relevant one at that. <coughs> because it's still in the vents, the alien. Probably not dying like you will. <laughs> Something's rattling the spaceship, good lord. There's an emergency lock right there. The emergency override. Hey, a dead guy had a flare on him. Thank you for your contribution to the, uh... Ripley Survival Fund. There's a terminal there. Behind this desk, there's a fancy skull. That's nice. And an empty box. Let's see. Stun batons kill? Uh, no. They're, they're... I guess technically, but, uh... Like, lore-wise, they wouldn't. Uh, formal complaint intended by Annie Android. I'm the senior executive. I should be treated appropriately. Humans only. Uh, Paul B. Leningard attending. Severe chemical burns. Coleman attending. Suspected brain damage caused by asphy asphyxiation. Nothing to do. Wasted bed. Oh, that's nice. Hello, it's Lingard. After the incident, the marshals want us to rope off medical. They're bringing in a team to find whatever it was the patient was carrying. I told them it was fast, but they're convinced they can trap it. They've got meds. I'll set up a temporary medical center outside. You're in charge for now. Don't let Coleman Sweet talk his way in. The last thing we need is him self-medicating with Marshall Waits around. Who's that? Who? Damn straight, it was nothing. I'd have to. Ooh, nope. You're right about being nothing. Go away. Thank you. Or not. What the fuck? Oh my. They fucking are on the same team. That is bullshit. Welcome to Alien Isolation, folks. The only the only time that you'll ever have a human actually be friends with the alien. Oh, good Christ. I'm 
hunt his ass down and I'm gonna stab him right in his dick with the stun baton. Maybe the stun baton, but that gonna fucker's gonna be yourself. dead when I'm done with him. wasn't anything in here, right? I remember finding an ID card before I died, but I don't remember where it was. Well, I mean, was I not close enough? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna stake him right in his fucking penis. And I am determined about that at this point. I don't know! If I knew why it didn't work, I wouldn't have asked the same question! in here because there was the PC that just kind of like did its thing and then the ID tag <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny isn't it turn around He caught it with his hand, too. Couldn't let me have my last laugh. Uh... See, it's probably not very important to know that those rooms are there on the map right now. Yeah, I do know that they exist, and I'll get there eventually, but for right now... already accessed this terminal. I don't think there was anything attached to it, right? Yeah, no. Just the medical record about a, what basically sounds like a mad scientist trying to get corpses out of his laboratory while making it sound medical. How hard was LRL craft? Um, I don't believe I played that on stream, but I have played it with one of my friends. RL craft is indeed very, it, it's very difficult. But on the same front, like, it also gives you the same possibility to be very good as well. That didn't give me what I wanted to know at all. Crisis Stabilization Unit. Operations Theater. 
There's the two rooms. There's the hallway down there, and there's that, which I need to do. Terminal. Let's see. Uh, Marlo. The captain. External examination. Turner, we've had something go down here in San Cristobal. Tape off the scene and make sure it's not touched until Garcia comes in with forensics. Keep this quiet for now. I want total silence. Last thing this station needs is a pen. And one other thing. If I find out who leaked this to Ransom, I'll make them eat their fucking badge. She turned up, quoted seeks and privileges, and had a ringside seat for the whole goddamn mess. This is a serious incident. I don't need Ransom making it more complicated. Do you read me? Wait. That's a way to get around. I've got it. Woo! Trauma kit's on the other side. Samuels, I've got the meds. We're at the transit station outside medical reception. Ripley, we heard gunshots, and if we heard them, so did the creature. Did it? I don't know. That would be that would be really nice if the creature heard it too. I'm gonna be honest here. Where do these dots come from? Uh, let's see. I don't need to go th do anything through here. Crystal medical reception. Access the medical reception. Oh, okay. So that code was for the. Yep, 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 yep. So if I walk around this way, I don't think the alien is here. But there is like six people that showed up. Or at least three. Which is not going to be good. There's another map right here. Go ahead and pick this up. Because that'll tell me... Uh, practically zip doodle, but... It's still good to have on the map, so that way I don't have to walk into each and every room. That's the door I came in. You don't see anything, fam. Nothing. Well, the uh, alien didn't leave. I was really hoping it would have, but it surely didn't. Oh yeah, he's dead. That is, that is a new body. Hey guy. 
Man, that's a shame that you died. Get a sensor on you? That's crazy. Let me, um... Let me need a sensor that I can... Ooh. Nah. Uh... Yeah, okay. Well, I'll, I'll put one in the smoke bomb here. I don't know what good a smoke bomb is. Honestly. Uh... Make another noisemaker. Because with the noisemaker, put a charge, sensor, and an injector, and I can craft another one on the fly. Assume the alien isn't nearby. Sensor and be on my way. Ah, my neck. I thought it was because I was sitting on the exercise ball. No, I think it's because I'm getting real into it. So I gotta head this way, but the door's locked. evac procedures at the power plant oh. there's no save points anywhere in here okay it'll be fine Day, goodness. Hey, thank you for your stuff. Someone made a mess out of you. What's this? Oh, that's handy. Where does this go? Was this here? This is crazy. How long was this vent system here, and how did I not know anything about it? Well, obviously it was here the whole time, but... Huh. That's true, I did need to go through here because I need to, um... The door to the area that I want to get into is locked. So... Start the evac procedures? Yeah, that I think it do. Ooh, see, now that's an issue. The vent locked behind me. 
I know a boss room when I see one. Hostiles are nearby. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Just let me please save. Thank you. Hostiles were a lot closer than I'd like to admit to. doing what I uh, want it to do unless it is which then this is a rather awkward way of doing it It just spawned a working Joe. So I have the alien and a working Joe to worry about. See if I can go through that vent again or if I have to go through the front door. Aha, I can! Let me through, baby. I do not want to walk around that walk through that working Joe. Loud noise. <laughs> I almost walked right into that thinking I need to get away from the working Joe. Okay, so to make it back to where I need to go, best way to do it would be to go through here, I feel. Yeah. 
maxed out on sensors already. Item maxed. Oh, so you can only have three smoke bombs, three noise. Okay. Flashbang. Blasting cap. Sensor. Craft. Well. I could try and do something. But with the alien around, mm, that's going to be really difficult to do. Don't try to outrun the alien. You won't make it. Well, thank you for giving me information that's relevant to the alien this time. I guess. Sitting under a bench that I could clearly see underneath, apparently. That's always fun. Honestly, I think I might just try and beat the shit out of the, uh, working Joe. Just that way I only have to worry about the alien instead of, well, both of them. take him down like a man. Also, there's an achievement for this, so... Hey, man. Hey. Whoop. Ah, piss off. Don't fuck with the working Joe. Got it. There, there's an achievement to just fucking I beat the shit out of him. But I guess that's a little, a little bit more difficult than it leads on to believe. Which is fair enough, I suppose. Welcome to Alien Isolation. Ever wanted to be scared of anything but the alien? Well, here's the game. It would just be easier to get rid of the working Joe, honestly. Because I could bean it in the back of the skull. And then afterwards, I can, uh... Start shooting it and filling it full of holes. Hey, man. Oh, yeah? No. No. Nah. But I think it's fun. No. I think it's fully warranted. Yes. And dead. <laughs> Stupid fuckbag. Give me my ammo. Alright, that works. Uh, let's see. Pipe bomb. Put some sensors in there. And... The flashbang. Bam. There we go. Oh, you have to actually hold R and reload all the bullets? Seriously? Okay. I guess I never really stopped to actually shoot someone dead, so... <laughs> Suck my nuts. Take six shots and then some to kill a working Joe. What difficulty is it on? I put it on hard. 
because I kind of thought at the time of me doing it, I thought putting it on hard would make it like more scary. The only thing it really seemed to do was just make it more irritating, which uh, it's just something that I'm gonna have to deal with, honestly. Samuels, love you. Don't tell me things I already know. Just got to keep moving. Oh, you sneaky bastard. You hear what I say? just moved in front of me. Now it's moving back behind me. And now it is out of the vents. Yes. Uh, Rose. When, when there's the saliva dripping down from the vent, that means that the alien is right there, ready to pounce. The problem with trying to get around the alien is that he so frequently turns back on himself. You can't ever, like, just, like, sneak behind the alien, because the alien's constantly turning around. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, where do I need to go? Escape. Got it. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Run, 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 run. Where do I go? I need to go through there, which means that I gotta open up a door or something, right? Oh, I guess this isn't as a... Uh, quick bare bone as I thought it was going to be. I can't get through that door. That's the way to go. Uh, 
right, well, there's a dead guy in here. There's another doorway that's off to the right. Maybe that's... Oh, nope, nope. There is something in here that I got pushed. Stun baton charge. That's epic. to the ambulance bay and be like can't get out because I can't why is this door locked it's the service elevator but there's no I'm just gonna take whatever you've got fam hope you don't mind that door is locked shit's falling all over the place ladder Ladder, what do I do? Ladder. Uh, oh. Alright, so I just needed to crawl myself up into that first thing. Got it. There's a med kit on the. There was a med kit on the ground now. Not out. That's what I gotta do. Climbing up on on a fireplace isn't exactly what I would consider to be the first option when thinking of a way to escape, but I guess there needed to be some way to make it feel a bit more epic. I wonder if you actually ran out of health if you would die. <laughs> Just die try halfway up trying to climb up. A charge pack. Uh what do I have that I could do it put a charge pack into? I can put ethanol and bonding agent into the smoke bomb. The noise detector is already ready to make. Uh, the Molotov. I can put the other two ethanol that I have into that. Pipe bomb. Nah. Charge pack. I, don't, I only have one thing that needs a charge pack, and that's... Well, that's not true, I suppose. I know something else needs a charge pack, but I don't remember where it is. Yeah, no, I, I, I think the only thing that needs a charge pack is the noisemaker. So, uh, I guess that's unfortunate, but that's a charge pack that I'm never going to get. This looks familiar. That would be because it is. Is this the way to go? It is. Let's make it out of here. Woo! 
This is just trying to stay alive. <laughs> Too bad three of them died in the medical bay. I think the guy that I tried to zap in his dick uh, got back up and then died to the alien. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so here I gotta go through the vents. Got it. Through here. Should be very linear, I feel. Some scrap. Sensor. Do the cordage, I can't go up that way. More scrap. an event this area is very linear that's for sure more scrap nothing else here so all There's right a piece missing. i need to fix that charge pack a compression cylinder This area looks familiar. That's because it is. Last time I was in, I was here, I had Axel with me. Okay, so it just told me what I could do. Make your way through seeds, seeds and synthetics and find an alternate way back to the transit where you left Samuels and Taylor. But I need to go, what I need is to find some way through there. Station feels like a graveyard, huh? There's a fan. This event leads everywhere that I may need to go. Perfect. Good thing to know as well, having listened into that uh, conversation. So, what do we do now? Hold on. Favorite what Doctor Who doctor? What did you think that noise was we heard earlier? Sounded like an explosion. I figured that out, genius. I mean, what caused it? Gotta be weights. 
I heard he's trying to kill that creature by setting traps. Remote charges, can you believe that? He's gotta be crazy. Maybe that's the answer. I heard that Waits has some kind of safe haven up near the Galleria. We could go there. Did you not hear what I said? Crazy fuck is blowing stuff up. No thanks. We're running out of options. Then shut up and let me think. Sensor. Ooh. Bonding agent. It's a good thing I went through these areas. SCJ injector. Another sensor. There's a noisemaker ready to craft. There's a smoke bomb ready to craft. There's a flashbang ready to craft. We're all set. All right. So if I were to take the suggestion that uh, their friend told them that they just kind of said "fuck you" to, is that uh, I never answered your question. I apologize. Um, is that I could talk to one of the androids and be like. Like, be like, what do I do? <laughs> that was extremely fortunate that he was not looking my way. Because I didn't even check. Uh, this area is blocked off, but doesn't mean that there can't be anything that I could use up here. I just have to be careful to stay away from the windows because chances are that I'm gonna get spotted and they're not actually windows they're actually just like I don't know transparent paper mache sheets they can shoot me through it <laughs> better yet there's nothing there at all it just looks like it that's not what I wanted Okay. Uh, so there's this optional room over here. It's got a map. Which told me nothing. <laughs> another charge pack. I feel like I should have picked something up. Like another blueprint. I feel like I'm a blueprint short. There's a lot of charge packs. And the only thing that I have that requires them is uh the noisemaker bunch of flares on this table okay so let's see here error years ahead synthetic receive schematics don't know how much we paid our mole but siegson is going to need to shell out a hell of a lot more seems like old tech but it's beyond anything we're capable of we won't need an investment. The company and all its subsidiaries are light years ahead of us. Smythe, I've been looking over your report on the Wayland Utani androids and your proposals for improving the working Joes. Now, I appreciate the work you put in, but understand we live in different worlds. Yours is full of extrapolations and estimations. Mine has an executive suite and eight thousand dollars suits. Bottom line is. I gotta look after the money, buddy. I hired you because you were the cheapest, not the best. Find a way to bring these costs down, huh? That's an out. Shit that doesn't come back there. Oof. I know we're hungry, but... Man, this feels so wrong. Hey, uh, st 
Stop trying to be. <laughs> Stop trying to be good. Shut up, working class citizen. Smoke bomb V2. Okay, so does that just mean that from now on my smoke bombs are more effective? Because if so, that's... That's, uh, something. Doctor Who Doctor, I'm sorry, I'm... Work... While I've got a second, I want to say it is the ninth Doctor? Um, the... I forgot his name. I want to say, like, the actor's name is, like, Terrence something. I, I've, I haven't seen Doctor Who in a long time, but I, it's either the seventh or the ninth. The, the one that's played by the same actor who plays the devil role in Good Omens. I, I don't remember his name, but the, but that is that's my favorite doctor. Working Joe Eccleson? I no, I don't think so. There's a what of his name starts with a T. I I swear. Here's my spiel for the con potential clients. What do you think? Spedding will hang me if dry. They don't bite. Welcome to the buzzing heart of the synthetic solution. Next up. But first, an example of an android is self-governed. Apollo synthetics require a little more care and repair wards can provide. They come here, we believe, for a rollout, automatic synthetic to synthetic medical, medical intervention. No human expertise required. No costly human surgical training. All data is streamed directly from Apollo. Every incision recorded in its logs. This is the future. Tomorrow together. Upstairs, want a full rundown. Some useful stuff in there, some junk they want estimates too. I'm gonna save real quick. Yes, please. given a directive on which way to go not yet There's something over there. well they're certainly dead should be a shame if somebody were to come by and scrounge them for their useful materials. Stunt baton charge, don't mind if I do. Hello. Some stun but two of them? Bro, you are simply the man. Get an ID tag. Revolver ammo. Oh, I, I saw red on that, and I thought that was something I could use. All right. I'm gonna go save. Well, I have the opportunity to, and while I've got all this stuff on me, I'm I'm just gonna go save. Cause I'm petty like that.
Gonna say please and thank you. Yes, overwrite. Oh yeah, aliens exist sometime this year. They were, actually. Yeah. Um I I remember seeing something about that as well, where uh like Area 51 finally like confirmed that some some of the uh like alien pictures like yeah we we have no idea either i don't believe they said yes aliens exist but uh they definitely the only thing that they confirmed was that it wasn't them i think that's what uh it's all about compound b a sensor and a terminal Nice to access. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. Together tomorrow, Siegson's journey into colonial space, a remarkable growth. Siegen's son proved to be the backbone of colonial FTL expansion, 2071. Sieg family sold the shares back into the company. Its expansion remained exponential. Single-minded rivals looked on with envy. Smythe, have you been practicing the script for the VIPs visiting today? We need to impress. Noise from upstairs says they're the last potential bidders for Sevastopol's work and Joe rollout. If they go with Wayland Utani castoffs instead, the jobs Sieg's and have allocated for us back on Earth are on the line. Don't screw up. Out. Is that the warehouse door? So it would be. Hi, cat. Hold on. And a hello to you, too. Come here. Oh. Oh. Alright, Mr. Poopy Butt. You still got the shits? Hmm? Yeah, that's right, I know you do. I love you. Alright. Now I'm playing a game, okay? You're welcome to sit on my lap while I'm here, but uh, I'm not gonna be petting you, okay? Yeah, I know you're all sad that I don't spend too much time with you no more. It's because I had the exercise ball. It made it hard for you to sit in my lap, you know? So. Alright. He was sitting there sticking his nose up my sleeve, so. Ugh. My mouse was moved so far over to the right. Whoops. Oh, I need to restore the power. Alright. Find a way to power it up. It's a lot of stuff for me to do, that's for sure. What's this room that's in the back? <laughs> you can fuck right off with that. Woo! Oops. Oh, there's a save point here, that's nice. Hey. You got a flare on you, dang. Injector, what is this? Isn't the power off? Why did I need a level two? Save, yes. This stream is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. <laughs> Nah. Yeah. I, I was gonna make a joke like, nah, I'd get sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. But, uh, 
I wouldn't take that sponsorship. <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends is not fucking good at all. And I could not put myself to, through playing that game for a sponsorship. Like, even with how much they give me, I, I could not do it. access to her. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Alright. Can't go in there because it's uh, deadly. Got it. Uh, we got this. We have this. We have a bee and a penis. Some scrap. Terminal. Terminal probably turns off the gas and a sensor. Ac requisitions, Android. Now you've fired me, you'll have to descend from your ivory tower to pick up the slack. The guys are dig the guys decommissioning Sevastopol have free access to supplies and storage, but everything will need logging. So use the Android. Power him up, let him out of his box, and watch him go. Just like me, huh? By the time you get this, I'll be dead drunk in Gillen's bar. Guess you already know this, but I've been pure hell working for you. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me, Smythe. Got another message from Spedding about the busted elevator outside the Android Examination Theater. Guys, a million things to do right now, so it's not going to be fixed. Ain't in time for your VIP visit. Spedding wants to be a priority, then maybe he should stop being a petulant asshole. It's an easy job off the top of my head. Tell you the parts you need in the compo component storage, row one, stack B. If you can't find it yourself, ask the requisitions android. Get off my back, chief. Oh, I don't even need to turn on the android anymore. Duh, I, I, he just told me where it is. Row one, stack B. Bingo. That's crazy. Nope. That still has green gas. I can't. What does that say? Ow. Okay. Another save point. That's interesting. Uh. I'm just gonna. Nah. That'd be excessive to use right now. Why do I need to turn on the robot? I don't need to turn on the robot. Oh, wait. If this is just the power, I don't have to turn on the robot. Easy peasy. Uh, we have this. F. Penis. Pokeball. way to get that gas out of there well yeah no cuz that terminal didn't have anything I'm gonna save and I'm gonna see if I can access that uh, terminal oh no wait all right hold on is it a dev how dibs push the games to their limit making loading times ass a little bit oh no I I can't get in there I, it literally won't let me in there, so I guess that answers that. Uh, in 
projector, cow pump being a bonding agent. Oh wait. it all at once. Nice. Okay. So it's row one stack B. So row one stack B. It would be over here, right? Row one, stack B. Let me, let me, so, so this is how it works, right? Row would be from A to B, whereas column would be A, A, to A and then like floor one, floor two. Which would mean that it would be over here, right? Hi. Maybe it's on the other side where there's no androids. Or not, why are there only androids? Oh, cause this is... Uh, find a way to open the door to the warehouse. Oh, I have to activate the bot to open the door to the warehouse. Man, why couldn't I get like a little cookie for like not needing to power on the robot, you know? Throw me a bone, no, developers. Hey man, what's up? How can I help you? I need a compression cylinder. Components warehouse. Row one, stack B. Follow me. Just keep the noise down, okay? Right behind you, working Joe. Thank you, sir. So he did just fucking die. <laughs> Alright, so how do I find my way across the then? Move down. Uh... That's handy. <gasps> so, wait. Oh no, I can't do that. So I can only move it up and I can move it down. So if I were to go over here... Move down. I can't climb up on these boxes. And I can't jump because space is how we open up this. Ah. Yeah, alright. Overthinking it. Ah. Uh, Wouldn't it be a horror game unless it gave you the opportunity to overthink something? Because, I mean, that's the way it works. Move down. Cylinder. 
Uh, I don't know where this vent goes. that's supposed to do? I don't know. Let me see what what's this vent's got in store. You gotta love it where uh, developers try and push hardware to its limits and they forget to actually make a game. Oh, that's it. It's just some scrap in here. Eh. What's up, dude? Gonna hop off, do some stuff? Hmm? Yeah, I love you too. Yes, I do. Alright. I'll help you off here. There you go. Uh, once I'm done streaming, you can hop back on, okay? I love you. Yes, I do. I love you. Alright. I gotta make my way out of here. Okay. So I have everything that I need to repair the elevator. I just need to get back to where the elevator is. Fair enough. From here, I want to go and take a right. From here, just push forward. Assuming the alien doesn't show up, head straight to the elevator. go uh, get me out of here uh. Woo. find exit to the synthetic fluid plant just gonna save because there's a save up here <laughs> And move on. I shouldn't know anything about this area, right? Yeah.
Wow, we're going full Monsters, Inc. here, huh? <laughs> Which one of these doors is boo-boos? I want to get out of this hellhole. Oh. Hello. I prefer not, honestly. Let's see. Okay. There's a vent up here. I think I have a clear point of where to go. They both came out to check it and neither of them, <laughs> neither of them were like, all right, I'll stay here. They just ran a long-winded tunnel, or a long-winded, like, roundabout. Can I get someone from Synthetics to look at my droid? 24-hour ship helping out with trauma and I'm a dentist. Waits wants every one of them moved. Not going to be pulling down these kinds of hours. Need some help. Perfectly adequate programming. Gathering dust. Same model. I started acting up on the other side of the station. What the hell's going on with the place? Someone get down here before I make an official complaint. Hmm. Interesting. like to save yes please all right I'll just be on that door so I don't got to go through there I don't think they can crawl through the vents so I don't have to worry about them playing peekaboo with me through there but I'm starting to think that I may have to walk behind them uh, through that vent to get where I need to go. I think I made the wrong decision walking through this way. Because they may have taken the long-winded route, but they were trying to make it down to where I was. Which in theory would mean that this door here leads right outside. Yep, alright. So I do have to walk I have to walk out behind them. Be 
be a bit difficult to do that, but... Let me actually use a noisemaker. Does the noisemaker not work? Just uh, take a quick second while they're just sitting there doing nothing. Get my noisemaker back. This place looks safe. You two aren't fucking moving! What do you mean? This place looks safe. flashlight batteries I guess why do you have so many damn flashlight batteries I don't need my fucking flashlight bruh waste of my time and resources those stun charges do not come easy I get the plasma torch now? That'd be nice. Low power, can't access the computer. Uh, let's see. I don't think I need, I need something that takes a lot of bonding agents. And I need something else that can take, uh, charge packs as well because there was so many of them can't open that door because I don't have a plasma torch can't open a bunch of other doors because I don't have an ion torch whatever works get to the Sevastopol Simid Tower Get the transit station. We'll do. There's a neutral bar on the thing there. A lever. Boop. Hmm. That was something on the ship going on. Can I make it through here? Device invalid. I need a fucking level three of the thing. I can't tell if it's setting you up to backtrack like a lot, or if that's just if if that's just ways that they're um, locking the doors so that way. Um, you don't have like just whatever constantly locked and always locked doors heck I, I don't know we got a penis we got an E we got this and we have this I 
Bingo Boingo. Cilia Plasma Torch for that. Let's try and make it down to where Taylor is. Cut I scene. sent you a clear directive not to land on station. I told you we didn't hear your message. We understood you would be. Hey! Identify yourself. Ripley, from the Torrens. Relax, kid. Hi, I'm Ripley. What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlowe, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere huh. safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley. Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go. We yes, need the transit let's. to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit control is upstairs. Samuels says you're an engineer. Go make yourself useful, seeing as you screwed up the trap. Yeah, right. We'll talk about that later, Waits. You protect them while I'm gone. Understood? Ricardo, get a lock on our radio so we can stay in touch. Thank you for being a massive twat, Waits. Are you all right, Ripley? Peachy. We really should hurry. Taylor. Don't worry, Samuels. We'll get her out of here. Everybody's gonna be a okay. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna see how far I can get here. Restore power, can't go through that door yet. Uh, this is an area that I've been through before. Okay. Think of a clamp here. Boop. Uh, oh, I didn't realize that was the way to go. Boop. I just did the elevator because it was a clamp and that was one of the very few things that I can unlock right now. Did it. To transit control. Let's get moving. Something behind that door. Gas torch? <laughs> Hello? I mean, whatever is back there isn't the alien. Ugh, what's the worst that it could be? A man with a gun? Man, that'd be scary. Take a quick second to get a lay of the land before I start doing things that would otherwise be noisy. There's two lockers on either side of me. Someone shut everything off. Hmm. Interesting. Hello? I know someone's in here. Oh.
Calm down in there, you android fuck! Last time I trust anyone in this tin can. I went to a lot of trouble to secure this place. Oh, I still need to be in here. Can't believe those assholes threw me out. Someone here with me? No. What makes you say that? You're looking a little crazy. Yeah, crazy. You're just crazy, man. Uh, where do I go? Uh, it says I'm supposed to be right here, so what do I do? Oh, maybe it's this glowing thing over here. Ta-da! Oh, there's a panel over there that opened up. Or that turned on. I fiddle with this. You shouldn't be here. Hmm. Well, that's awkward. That's not unsettling. Oh, fuck! I will inform Apollo on your behalf. Something tells me that uh, the stun gun doesn't actually stun people. <laughs> I, I mean, my god, look at the way that his legs are bent. You're, I don't think your knees are supposed to bend quite that way, but I, I could be wrong. Poor guy. I hope you wake up soon and I didn't actually just uh, kill your ass. Uh... Lord knows that because this is a video game, there wouldn't be any way for me to do it safely. Uh, pipe bomb, I got a blasting cap. Okay. Nobody. Nick Fortnite. Hello, good, and welcome to the stream. Memeing as per usual, I see. What's the whole deal with that, by the way? Is it is it just something that like he made a joke and it's like, uh oh, what happened or something? Restart transit. Listen, you crazy bastard. You think that thing gets around in a transit car? You're sitting on an override that'll disconnect it from Apollo, so pull it. Stop all this bullshit by pulling a lever. You think you're safer with this transit powered down, but we're trapped like rats. Help us. Heads up for you, jackass. Don't even think about throwing in with Sinclair and the Sikhs in security. Told them it was you that killed Morrison. 
If they see you, they'll shoot you on sight. Should have let me in to join your bot, your bolt hole. You won't last a minute. You won't last a week. Jesus. I can kind of see why that guy wasn't in here. Why did that dude have so many fucking flashlight batteries? It really does just expect you to have batteries on you 24 or to be using your flashlight 24 7 huh gas flame available all right oh and that'll be helpful for getting through here because I think he broke the elevator. He did tweet that like two years ago, like he was serious about it. Oh, okay, I don't have to hold E for this. That's nice. Jesus. I know that he tweeted it. I know that he was like serious about it, but I don't necessarily get where the big joke is. The transits here were waiting on you. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. It's true. I can, Taylor can't. That that is true. There's a rewire. Guys, it's Sinclair. We need supplies. Take what you can from whoever you want. I found an area in habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators plans to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary. But we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive, there's no room for pity. Ooh. He's just wanting a big titty goth girl GF. Well, I mean, G golly, doesn't like everyone. I turned on the door axe, which I think about it here. Uh, let me check and see where that door is. Oh, that's door axe. That's door access for the other side. Okay. Yeah, over there. So I just powered on that door. Ripley, we heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. Yeah, I'll watch myself, all right. Oh, they're up here. Ooh, yeah, so they're all up there.
what if I found a better site to raid. Or a way off this fuck heap. That and today's plans are finally we sold ourselves into so something should get it done. If we see it, we just run. There's four people here, Jesus. They don't really have any reason to suspect that I'm in here, other than the fact that I just called the lift. So I'm kind of hoping Let's that they'll all Sinclair. just... No way we should be splitting up. Safety in numbers. <laughs> Not even sure of that. That thing is unstoppable. Give me one clear shot. I'll stop the fucker. Still one of them there, it's just kind of like stuck in that doorway. Find out what's in that room. <sighs> hmm. I don't have any charges in my stun baton. I could make a smoke bomb, but I don't believe that'd be a very good idea. said he saw it. So some people get away. If we see it, we just run. Alright, well, uh, see ya. I guess. It's a whole lot of nothing. You know? Something tells me I made a mistake. Okay, 
So it was for it was for that door. Was already in here, which is unfortunate. Hmm. I think I made a mistake. It was a save point there. Ah, shit. Okay. Well. Yeah, that was a bit of a mistake on my front. I thought I powered up a door that I hadn't before, and uh, that wasn't true. So, uh, I gotta do all the transit control shit again. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. I can do that. I can get back to the transit car. Sorry. Head back up. This time I'm gonna try not to stun the guy to see if uh, I can like sneak or because if I can if I can sneak around him, maybe he'll deal with a work he'll have to deal with a working Joe, and then I can just slip around the two of them as they're fighting, you know. Excuse me. Someone shut everything off. Hello? I know someone's in here. Did you say? Fuck. Out it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Brubsky. Enough bullets and you'll go down. A better shot than, uh, this poor bastard. But, uh, ah well. At least I saved myself two baton charges. So, already, this is going better. Great voice acting, by the way. That dude's just like, 
No, what did you do? <laughs> Just like no emotion to that at all. <laughs> That guy had nothing on him this time. There's a gas torch. Oh, there's a save point in here. I didn't know that. Well. I thought to myself, nah, I don't need to save. I can wait until I make it back to the main lobby. And then I went and stuck my thing into the save anyways. So, uh, here we are. that thought of like does it need to be that heavy Ripley this is weights the transits here we're waiting on you take it I had some trouble so it's gonna take me a while to get back we can wait Taylor can't I can catch the next car your call I can wait Taylor can't I, I mean, like, I'm, I'm right here. Take what you can from whoever you want. I found an area in habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators. Plan is to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary, but we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive. Ripley, we heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. Will do. I know what to do, so... Gotta call number two, and then I can hide in this locker and I'll be safe. Wow, crazy. You're on a spaceship with some foreign creature. First thing you hear is all kinds of noise in the vents. Bro. I think the reason why my back starts to hurt is because I'm not typically used to playing no PC games. Up. Safety in numbers. Not even sure of One, two, three. Unstoppable. What the hell? Did you see that? Why did the locker on the opposite end also open? It's so awkward. for the yawns. I guess I must be tired. Regroup of Sam Taylor and the Marshals. Stations 
serving the Sullivan's Galleria Mall, Colonial Marshal Bureau, and Seeks and Habitation Suites. Alright, let's see. Is there any... Oh. Some blasting caps. Hey, alright. I think we're good, so I'm going to go ahead and save here. Overwrite the save. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call the stream. So, thank you all so much for watching, whether it was live or in post. Um, I made mention at the beginning of the stream that I didn't really want to do it. Um, so, I'm feeling a bit better about it now that I've actually gotten through and played some of the game. Uh, I just can't think of it as a very... I can't play this as a horror game. I think putting it on hard was a horrible mistake on my behalf uh, because I can't think of it as being very scary. It's, it's very systematically out to kill you, which is I finding I'm finding more frustrating than scary so um if you liked what you saw and you like to be able to see more feel free to tell people that I exist the more people that show up to my streams the better that I myself can feel about streaming and the better of a stream that I can produce for those viewing I'll follow through with my plan of doing a full playthrough of Alien Isolation and Sooner or later, when my friend is actually ready to go at it again, I still fully intend on doing a campaign playthrough of Resident Evil 5 with him. Uh, I wish I knew when that would be, but I don't, so. Either way, uh... I don't think there's much anything else that I really need to say, other than... Apparently, Alien Isolation makes my back hurt, which is interesting. So, once again, uh, thank you all for coming out, and uh, perhaps I'll see you next time.